the 1450 outlet has become very popular nowadays for a multitude of different applications, whether that be uh, just powering a new appliance you got, or you're just you're using a power distributor to power a bunch of different power tools. Um, but the one that we come across the most is for EV charging, like we have here. We have the Tesla back charging right now. And so what people have been looking for is kind of a way to have their EV charging and also do some other things at the same time. But that entire outlet is currently being used by their EV. So what's the way around that? So introducing our S1450 PDU-PT. So it's a 1450 power distribution unit. It's a box. And then it's got a pigtail that connects right here to our 1450 plug of our Tesla. And so right now our Tesla is actually charging at 32 amps and 1450 outlets are usually rated for up to 50, or they, it's required that they are. And so that actually leaves you 18 extra amps that you could use for something else. And so the PDU outlet box we have actually has two sets of duplex GFCI outlets, and each one has a dedicated 20 amp breaker. And so, since we're charging at 32 amps and we have the 18 extra amps, we could just do, we could use that to power something else. Let's say like a power tool or working on something. The possibilities are endless. For this example, we have some, we actually have something that's exactly 18 amps. And it's this kind of heater on here, 18 amps, 120, volt, 120 volts. So we can actually run that. So that's going now. I have to kind of talk over it. And the Tesla is still charging. And no breaker has been tripped or anything yet. Um, I'll turn this off so I can keep talking. But let's say you were to have two of these running on, from the same duplex set, it would of course trip the 20 amp breaker on there. Um, so that's something you have to keep an eye out for, is kind of keep track of how many amps you're using, where and when. Um, if that if you do happen to plug in something extra into that breaker and it does trip, your Tesla will still keep charging because it's not tied to, to either of those breakers. It's directly connected to the breaker on the 1450 outlet. If you want to run, let's say you want to use all four of these outlets on the PDU outlet box, uh, then you'll just have to manually change your charging limit and drop it a little bit to compensate for whatever else you're trying to operate in the same room from the same outlet. So if you have any questions about our PDU outlet box, please leave us a question. Please leave us a comment down below. Otherwise, be sure to give us a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.